example, towards the hydrogen side, it burns because it's all talking about hydrogen. Hydrogen base burns. That's why if you look at water, water is what? Slightly acidic because it's H2O. It's two hydrogens and one oxygen. In its natural state, whether we're talking about H2O or H3O2 or H3O, which is three liquid components that's all inside of your body. One come from a spring, one come from fruit, and one come from the actual interstitial fluid and the extracellular fluid of your body. All of these are liquid waters that's in your body. Each of these are slightly acidic. Why is it slightly acidic? Because they have more hydrogen molecules than they have oxygen molecules. Even if you throw carbon in it, it still have more hydrogen than anything else. So water is slightly acidic. Do you know what makes water alkaline? Line, the actual minerals that's involved in it and it changes the molecular structure of the water to make the water alkaline when the water is in, in interacting with your body through electrons and electrolytes, period. You think I'm lying? Look this stuff up. So the body must maintain that balance of homeostasis and it must have acids and it must have alkaline uh, components in the body. That's the reason why your stomach naturally make hydrocaloric what? acid. That's the reason why your DNA is comprised of what? Sugar, carbon. Sugar is nothing but carbon, which is alkaline, right? Deoxy, ribose, nucleic, and ribose, phosphate, backbone full of sugar. This sugar is carbon. This carbon is alkaline. But notice, it's called a what? Deoxy, ribose, nucleic, acid. So even a DNA strand is metabolically put together to have a certain amount of acid components and a certain amount of alkaline components. Everything in your body is in balance, family. Everything. So you so you can't be an over alkaline freak. I see a lot of those these days that don't really know biochemistry or biology and science. And you can't be an over acid protein freak because you see both of y'all got the same problems and both of y'all end up in my clinic. Both of y'all. So y'all got to find that balance, y'all. You see what I'm saying? And I notice that the balance is the food. You should be on a 99.9 to 100% alkaline forming diet. But notice most of these alkaline forming foods start off acidic. If you look at an apple right now that is grown by God from a tree that has seeds in it, it is at a 4.5 on a potential hydrogen scale if you test it outside the body. An apple is actually acidic in nature, but if you bite into that apple and it goes through its metabolic process in your body, it produces alkalining products, meaning it becomes alkalizing to the blood, to the nervous system, and to the cells. See that? So it starts off acidic. Let's talk about a pear. A pear is at a 3.2. Let's talk about a grape. A grape can get down to two on a potential hydrogen scale, especially when it's in this high nitrogen state. But when you eat that grape, that grape becomes very astringent, pull all the mucus and all the excess uh, mucus that's been built up in the body. It pulls all the toxemia out of the body and it becomes alkaline forming. So we talking about foods that you call alkaline foods, but you don't even know why they're called alkaline foods. Because if you test them outside of the body, they're actually acidic in nature. But when you eat them, they do something to the blood and to the chemistry of the body and it becomes alkaline forming inside the body. And most of your foods that's actually alkaline when you check them outside of the body, like quinoa, when you eat it, it turns acidic forming in the body. This simple biochemistry, family. That's what I'm saying. So we have to learn to quit being indoctrinated and regurgitating what everybody is telling us and start really doing these tests ourselves. Most of this stuff that we call alkaline is actually acidic until you eat it, family. Straight up. Let me see your phone real quick, Nubby. I just want to I want to prove something real quick. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. What is the pH of an apple? Around 3.5. According to Robinette's Apple House and Winery, apples have a pH level of around 3.5 and are slightly less acidic than lemons and other citrus fruits. However, they are more acidic than bananas and grapes. So, hold on. So, apples have a pH of potential hydrogen around 3.5. 3.5 is very, very acidic, right? So, how is an apple an alkaline food? But if we test it right now, it's at a 3.5. You can Google this. You can look this up and do your research or do the test yourself. It's acidic. It's acidic until it gets inside of your body. What about the watermelon? Who we? What about all these foods? What is the pH value of a grape? According to Atlas Scientific, 
Grapes that are unripe typically have a pH of 3.1. The ideal pH level for most grapes is 3.4. Grapes that are too ripe have a pH level of 3.8. See that? So even a ripe grape that have a, a high amount of fructose and glucose in it get up to a, a 3.8. It ain't even at a 4. Grapes are very acidic. But when you eat it, it have an alkaline effect on the body. Mm. You see that? A banana, super acidic and starchy, but have an alkaline effect on the body. A papaya will blow your mind. Them things can get down to 1.7 pH. A papaya, one of the most healing, alkalizing foods of the body. The seeds kill parasites. It's, it's antioxidative. It is it's full of it's full of all types of things, but it's acidic in nature. But then when you check a quinoa, a quinoa is alkaline, but when it goes in, it has an acidic blowback on the body. I'm just saying, like, this is simple chemistry, family. I'm not making none of this up. So we have to really, really learn biochemistry and quit just repeating what we hear other people say because what other people be saying be incorrect. And that's these are facts. So we don't we're not worried about its pH outside of the body. What does it make my blood do? What does it make my tissues produce? If it makes my interstitium fluid, if it makes my extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid alkaline, I don't give a damn how acidic it is while it's outside of my body. I'm worried about what it does to my fluids inside my body. If it turns my fluids alkaline and, and birth new species of bacteria and make me go through autophagy to create new cells and go through cell lysis to birth new other cells and the ribosomes clashes with other things. If it's doing all of that, then it is alkaline forming if you check the minerals and it's leaving back phosphorus if it's leaving back calcium it's leaving back cadmium and all of that that is that's that's acidic forming food but if it's leaving magnesium with calcium if it's leaving back iron phosphate if it's leaving back more anions than cations that's what you will call what that's a, a alkaline forming you think they get what i'm saying i'll be yes sir Got it. I hope so. All right, so I'll remind them down. Next one, we're talking about rheumatoid arthritis. This is another one of their so-called so called immune diseases. Now, when you look at the word rheum, uh, a rheumatoid, it comes from rheumo. Rheumo means the flowing thereof. And when it's talking about the flowing thereof or the gushing thereof, it's talking about mucus. So rheumo or rheumatoid mean the flushing thereof. Ortho or articulate means something that spins on an axis. This is what you call a joint. So that's my elbows, my finger, my finger knuckles, that's my wrist, that's my knees, that's my ankles. This is something that's articulate. It moves and it spins on an axis. You were talking about a rumor. Rumo, Latin word means to gush forth. It's talking about the gushing of mucus. Why is mucus between the joints? And then itis means inflammation. So when you look at the word rheumatoid arthritis, it literally means mucus gushing between the joints. And that is full of inflammation and pain. What causes that? Usually it's sugars, it's salts, and it's unutilized minerals. So when you're looking at rheumatoid arthritis, again, this is not no autoimmune disease. Usually it's your adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands is in control of utilization of sugars, like fructose, like glucose, like galactose. It's also in control of the utilization of your minerals. Yes, like your magnesium. Yes, like your cations, like calcium. This is what actually controls that. It's also in control of your steroids. Guess what slows down inflammation? That's why the moment that you get arthritis, they give you what? Steroids. The moment that you get asthma, they give you what in your inhaler? Steroids. Because these things get rid of inflammation and it actually combats swelling. Well, your body produces natural steroids and cholesterol utilized by the adrenal glands. But if your adrenal glands down and you bring it in and you eating these minerals and you're not utilizing these minerals, these minerals have to go somewhere. Too much minerals, your body won't break down. Guess what it will do? It will push it out from the extra, extra fluid of the cells, extra fluid fluid of the cell, it'll push it into the tissues. The tissues can't use it, so the tissues will push it back into the cells and then push it to the bloodstream. The bloodstream will drop it off at any crevices it can get to, which is what? The joints. So now you have actual unutilized minerals that feel like small pieces of glass between your joints. And you're getting dehydrated because these minerals have a thing with pushing or repelling water because you're dealing with positive and negative cations and anions. This make a transcifical force inside of the joints and it pushes water out of the joints, but it keeps the glass or these what you would call elements there. So now you got joint against joint 
And between these bones, you have glass called minerals. Imagine moving your bone on top of that. Isn't that painful? Mm -hmm. Isn't that painful? So guess what's happening? The body is going to initiate a lymphatic response. So mucus is going to come and get in them areas to try to flush out the actual unutilized minerals and the unutilized sugars. If it can't do that, it's going to cover them up. Now we have mucus on top of calcium. Uh-oh, solidification, crystallization. Now we got what? Gout. Got all these other different inflammatory diseases and crystallizations because the body was trying to heal itself. This wasn't no autoimmune attack or autoimmune response. This was you eating acidic forming foods, bringing down your, your, your adrenals, your adrenal cortex and your adrenal medulla. It's not working efficiently enough no more to utilize the minerals. So the body got to put it somewhere and it ain't going to put it in the bloodstream. So it's going to dump it into the tissues. It's going to dump it between the joints. And now you have a no whole nother problem. They call it rheumatoid arthritis, but I'm gonna give you them steroids though. Because them steroids is going to take a rid of that. It's going to get rid of your, your actual detoxification mechanism called inflammation. Inflammation is a healing mechanism. So it's going to say, we're going to calm that down. We're going to trick the nervous system and we're going to bypass the pain. And now you can go on until they got to replace your hip. Until they got to replace that shoulder. Until they got to replace that elbow. Or until you walking on a cane when you're 45. Because you didn't change your diet. Everything I'm talking about is diet induced. Breaking the natural law of nature, not eating according to your biological makeup will kill you deader than a doorknob, family. It will. And then we have people like the allopathic community that loves to point the finger at other things other than you. You are the problem because you're eating the wrong food. Your body not stupid. Yeah, it ate itself. Your body ain't dumb. It's what you eating. They want to blame everything but your mindset. They want to blame everything but your discipline. They want you to blame everything and point the finger at everybody but your own self. You need to be looking in the mirror. It's you. You are the reason you're dying, family. And you can control this. You just have to love yourself enough to install discipline for you can stop eating the wrong things. And for those that say, well, if even if I eat good, it's environmental pollutants. Go out with a try. Why just lay down and die like a mate? I want to cuss. Huh? Why you want to be a B-A-N? Y'all know what that stands for. You just want to lay down like a punk and die. How about you fight for something? Huh? You fight for everything else. You fight for all the wrongdoings you're doing in your life. You fight for your ego. You fight for that personality that you got. You fight to do everything wrong, but you don't want to fight to do something good. So I'm not trying to hear, well, we got to die anyway. That's weak mindset. I don't want to hear that. Get off my channel with that. I don't want to hear what they're killing us through everything. I don't. So fight. Fight. Family, on some real, you were the problem. I was the problem. I was feeding myself some things. I jacked up my thyroid. I gave myself a heart attack. I attacked my heart. I did not have a heart attack. I attacked my heart at 21. I ate those acidic forming foods. I snorted that acidic forming cocaine. I smoked those acidic forming cigarettes. Packs of them. I drank that acidic forming liquors by the fifths. By the fifths. I lived that acidic lifestyle. Dangerous thoughts. Thinking about having, having harmful will intent against my brothers. Thinking about degrading black women. That, that was my, I had that acidic environment. I chose those thoughts. I had a choice to do positive and I did wrong. I did. I, don't, I can't blame that on nobody else. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can say that the white men created the environment. And so what? And so what? We are one of the most magnificent. <laughs> Look, we are the specimens of all specimens. We can change our environment if we change our mind. We are the problem, family. We have to go out through our discipline. We have to go out through our mindset. We have to go out through our values, what love is, what hate is. Do you really want to live? Do you got children and really love your children? Do you want to set up something for them for they can have generational wealth? Or are you willing to stay here long enough to do get things right? It's us. We always want to blame the white man, the purple man, the yellow man, everybody else but ourselves. Your problem is your discipline and you and your lack of education on what food is. That's your issue. 
And I'm here trying to give you the game and give you this knowledge for free. Notice I haven't mentioned the herb yet. I haven't mentioned my website yet. I haven't mentioned no price on nothing yet. This is all free knowledge. And all you got to do is listen to what I'm saying and you will see that these things work. Stop eating the acidic forming foods and all these so-called autoimmune diseases will go away naturally. It will. Truth be told. Last one, we talking about lupus. Hey, when you look at the root word to lupus, right? Did you know lupus? I'll give y'all my top five fruits. So my top fruits are off back. Uh, the, I'm going to give y'all my digestive fruits, right? My, my number one digestive fruit, y'all, and I'm not bullshitting y'all, is the yellow dragon fruit. <laughs> hey, man. The yellow dragon fruit. Yellow dragon fruit. You want to drop weight fast? You want to defecate real quick? Do a three-day, for real, do a three-day yellow dragon fruit diet. You will spend probably $120 on all dragon fruits. You can actually get them from Whole Foods. Make sure you get them in a ripe state where you damn near compress your finger into them and, and they break open. They real sweet at that stage. You are going to poop so much it will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. I'm not, now, now, them seeds ain't breaking down, though. Them seeds coming out the same way they went in. So you're going to have a toilet full of water, mucus, defecation, and seeds. But, man, it will move that GI tract like no other fruit on earth. I don't know no other fruit that moves your digestive system. Like, how many of them we be eating, Nabi? Oh, God. Man, we be tearing them <laughs> dragon fruits up. Man, a couple of them, man, I had you moving. It's something, yes, it's something wrong with them things, man. That is a GI mover, boy, I'm telling you. So uh, that is a good one. My other digestive fruit would be apples, especially apples in a very ripe state. Apples in very uh, ripe state have something called uh, 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 malactic acid. This malactic, and I think I'm saying it right, this malactic acid does something where it releases bile from the liver, yo. Man, will. You push and poop out all day, every day. So, so, so my first one would be the yellow dragon fruit. My second one would most definitely be apples, red apples. My third one would be green apples. And the reason why I love green apples is because not only will it make you poop, it's full of fiber. It will, it will harden up your poop, but it's astringent as hell. It is going to tug and it's going to pull on any type of acids in the tissues on its way out. I'm telling you. So green apples will be my third. My fourth one automatically is grapes. Grapes, grapes, grapes. I talk about grapes all the time. I shared the uh, the Grape Cure book to y'all. I told y'all about my uh, my two-month and my 30-day cancer healing testimonies that I had off the grape diet. Grapes, grapes, grapes. Grapes are astringent. Uh, the actual seeds of grapes are full of natural melatonin. Uh, it helps serotonin production in the body. Uh, it, it helps tone and strengthen and detoxify the cells. The skin of the grapes is high in tannins, meaning it's an anticoagulant, meaning it literally... Stops the blood from clotting inside of the system. It's actually good for libido. It gets your penis hard as a rock. I mean, when you look at the grape kingdom, and it's full of anthocyanins. That's that that beautiful melatonin purple color that it has to it. So, you know, my first, my fourth one would have to be the grapes, and then uh, my last fifth one towards the digestive system. Uh, last, my fifth one. That's a hard one. We talked about the dragon fruit. We talked about the apples, the red and green apples. Fourth one, grapes. Hey, fifth one, all day, watermelon, 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 watermelon. You know what I'm saying? And I love my sugar babies. I love my sugar baby watermelon. I'm actually growing some this year. I'm going to show y'all on the farm. So then my five for digestive. Then my five for digestive. Now, if we're talking about all around fruits, like the best fruits in the world that help you with everything, First one off back is apples. And the reason why apples damn near have every mineral you need. Apples damn near have every amino acid you need. I said damn near. I'm not saying academically. I'm saying they do have a lot. It's a book that I got. I got to find the name of it. I think it's called What a Man, The Purpose of Man or, or something like that. I got it at the house. I'm going to find it. And when I go live again, I'm going to show it to y'all. But it shows how a man... He survived off apples for like 10 years, just off nothing but apples. He lived on an apple orchard, and that's all he ate was apples. And when they checked him, he wasn't dehydrated. He had all of his nutrients. His bones are strong, and he did nothing but calisthenics, and he was one of the most muscular men in Japan. And all he ate was, was Japanese apples, and he loved Japanese black apples, but all he ate was apples. Just showing you that an apple a day will literally keep the doctor away, y'all. Apples are amazing because... They got everything they need in them. Apple is a whole, apples is what you would call a whole food. 
It's a whole food. So apples is amazing. That'd be my first one. Uh, my second one, if we're talking about just all around food, the acai berry. Acai berry from the rainforest. The acai berry is amazing. It's a super food. It's full of nutrients. Man, I mean, the acai berry is amazing. That's dark pigmentation. Uh, they got the anthocyanins in it, so the acai berry. So the first one is the apple. The second one is the acai berry. Uh, my third one, I'll give y'all three. My third one, my third fruit, uh, which is what they call a droop, would be the coconut. The coconut. And the reason why is because you get you, you get water from there. That's amazing. You get high electrolytes from it. Very alkalines and water. And then the flesh of the coconut is full of arginine and L-lysine, which is some essential amino acids that you need for nerve functioning. So coconut water and coconut flesh is very essential. So like if you were stranded on an island somewhere, uh, you can literally survive just off coconuts, eating the flesh and drinking the water. So then would be my, my three top ones, y'all. Then my three top ones. Yes, and I love me a good acai bowl. But make sure if y'all get them grains, them grains are gluten-free and they're organic. All right, now, lupus. I was talking about lupus. My last one was lupus. Uh, if you look at the word lupus, this actually comes from the word, uh, a Latin word, which means wolf. And the reason why they say wolf is because usually people with lupus get those little, them little rashes on their face that actually look like a wolf bite mark. And those rashes is the, the acidic waste eating the actual tissues of the body. So they will say lupus is the immune system attacking the tissues of the body. Or it's the immune system attacking the internal tissues of the organs. But if you look at lupus, lupus is another, it's not an autoimmune disease. It's what you will call a metabolic acidosis disease. I hate the word disease too. I'm just going to call it metabolic acidosis. And usually these things are coming from what you are eating or or your external environment. What I am saying, family, the simple key to reverse an autoimmune disease is quit eating acidic forming foods, quit drinking acidic contaminated water, quit having acidic contaminated sex, and quit entertaining acidic contaminated conversations, and your autoimmune disease will reverse itself. That's what I'm saying. Think, look, if you think I'm lying, prove me wrong. Have the discipline, have the love for self enough to call me on my bluff and just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Yes, I'm bulking. Somebody just said bulking. Man, I've been bulking for a minute. We need to get off of it. My body looking good, though. Chest done expanded, shoulders expanded, everything. So, yeah, we in our bulking phase. I actually ain't worked out in about five days. It's about, about what five, six days? Yeah, man. Yeah, we've we, we been so we've been we've been fasting like a mug, though. I ain't gonna lie. See, I'm, I'm drinking water. I just got done drinking my uh, coconut juice. I had a big thing of coconut juice. But uh, I'm going to show you. You think I should show them? <laughs> Let me show y'all what I've been working on. Let me show y'all what I've been working on, family. Check me out. Let me show y'all. Y'all see this one? The exam room one. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> so this exam room one, we trying to we trying to have this open by the 15th, y'all. I said trying. We almost done getting everything. We're getting all the paperwork ready. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we're going to have IV therapy here, drawing blood, everything. Everything you need. Then we got an iridology room. We got a laboratory room. We're doing live blood analysis, dead blood analysis. This is going to be our iridology room. We're fixing this wall right here. This will be done soon. There go the iridology camera. It's going to be a real big picture on this wall as we paint it and patch it up. This one of the microscopes, one of the amazing microscopes. I love this one. This mug is a beast. But yeah. So look, we working. We working, family. We working. We got the scale. I mean, everything is here. So we trying to open the clinic up on the 15th. We've been working hard to get this stuff together, y'all. We really have. That's right. So it's coming. We trying, to we trying to have this thing open by the 15th of this month. So yep, you'll be able to come here and get a whole entire, a whole entire spectrum done. 
You know what I'm saying? Testing, IV therapy, whatever you need. Minerals, uh, iridology, live blood analysis, STD screening. I mean, anything. You know what I'm saying? This is a real clinic. We're really doing our thing. Shouts out to Camilla. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to her. Nurse practitioner. Shouts out to me. Dr. Yaki. We got we working with a lot of people. We got uh we collaborating with a bunch of doctors. Like we really, we really doing our thing, y'all. We ain't out here playing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be playing, but we really building some great things out here. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna spend our time focus on the actual clinic here, and then we're gonna focus on the clinic in Houston. You know, I've been noticing that I've been putting my my energy into a lot of things. And when I do things like that, I really don't get things done. And uh, I got a thing, too. I was telling Abita I wanted to apologize to y'all. You know, I've been getting real famous lately. Uh, we've been doing all these different podcasts, traveling the world, and uh, spending all this time on celebrities. And I noticed when, you, when I've been getting into this type of state, I'm not saying I forgot about y'all, the people who helped build me and, and basically uh, form who I am. Not saying y'all made me, the creator made me, uh, but y'all helped form who I am. You know, I, I felt like I forgot about y'all a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I got on a high horse or nothing, but I wanted to apologize to my people because what built me, what built my legacy, what built my followers is me paying attention to y'all and me hearing y'all out and me having those one-on-ones and, you know, talking to y'all and really staying with y'all through y'all whole entire healing journey. And then, you know, I started getting deep into knowledge and having these intellectual battles and, you know, just trying to be the smartest and talk the best. And that ain't what this about. You know, when you, when you are doing what I'm doing and you call yourself a healer, it's about the care of the client. It's about the care of the patient. It's about the care for y'all and making sure that y'all are really getting everything that y'all need to be whole again. And, you know, I'm not going to lie me growing fast and making all the millions and, you know, getting noticed by all these so-called people that's still regular people uh you tend to lose track of foundation and, and those who really really put you where you are these celebrities ain't put me where i'm at these celebrities ain't got me my millions of followers these celebrities ain't you know they haven't it was y'all and uh i felt like within my heart that that i forgot about y'all or not that i forgot about y'all but i was moving too fast and i wasn't paying enough attention to y'all and me as a man and just as a healer that owe y'all that that owe y'all my service. I sincerely, sincerely, y'all, I apologize for y'all for that. So what I've been doing is we just took off and I got I'm getting my form together for y'all. We rebuilding a healing home for y'all at the form. It's an actual healing home that'll be done in what three, four months. Yeah, I mean, we cool. getting extra rooms added to it. Uh, we rebuild the clinic for y'all. We opening up the back up the clinic. I'm opening back up the the consultation lines. I got 15 consultations tomorrow. It's just time for me to regroup and get back with my people. You know, you tend to get lost in the light. And that's I, I really get the definition of being lost in the sauce. You know, you you traveling and you're doing all these podcasts and everybody recognizing you for the knowledge. But now you're on a knowledge trip so much, you're getting the fundamental principle of healing, which is love. You know, you're spitting all this knowledge. You sounding good as hell. Everything you're saying is the truth and it work, but you forget the fundamental things that make you who you are, that made the people love you in the first place, which the which was the love, the strength of doing this right here, being humble enough to even apologize, to say, hey, I was wrong. I had the big head, you know, so I'm not with that no more, man. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to debate with nobody. I'm not out here trying to sound smarter than nobody. I know my experiences. I know my healing testimonies who I healed. I ain't got beef for nobody. I'm here for my people, man. And that's what it is. And sometimes people get lost while they on their journey. And I can admit, I ain't get lost because I'm back here now. But I did struggle off a little bit, you know, and I wouldn't say I was puffed up or moving in pride. But us as people, we tend to get lost when you when you getting the, the type of attention that I get all the time. So, again, I apologize. It will not happen again. Y'all are my main priority outside of my children and my family. And y'all are my y'all. Y'all give me so y'all like source. Y'all give me y'all feed me energy. Y'all feed me love. And y'all the reason why I'm keeping this going. So, hey, forgive me, family, straight up. And that's from my heart. Seriously. Uh, So we talked about that. Now I'm going to open up the phone lines. So, look, change your diet. I didn't get on here to talk about herbs and stuff today. Uh, I didn't want to mention that today. Y'all know the website. Y'all know where to go. I really just wanted to get on here and speak to y'all freely. You know what I'm saying? And uh, without mentioning nothing and just saying, look, I'm back 
And I'm here. I love y'all. So uh, if y'all got any questions, y'all can call in. I'll start answering the phone line. So we will be talking about herbs for people that call in because I'm pretty sure they're going to talk about what they need to do to get their body back right. So I will be mentioning the website and herbs before that whole first part with the autoimmune disease. Look, that was herb free. I'm talking about a simple diet change. Now, of course, there are going to be certain types of uh, conditions that you in where you're in a chronic stage. You're out of the subacute stage and acute stage where you more into a degenerative stage and you is going to need the actual plant kingdom to help you, you know, get back, stimulate some of them cells and to really detoxify yourself to get you back in the balance of homeostasis. But other than that, y'all, you know, I really want to just do this for y'all. So y'all going to call on in what y'all got. What about comfrey plant? I love comfrey. Comfrey is an amazing plant. Comfrey build. Look, comfrey. I, that's what I re, I rebuilt my mouth with comfrey, y'all. I really did. I rebuilt my mouth with comfrey. The only reason why I did not put comfrey powder in my toothpaste is because when I was first starting out, I was very, very deep into the Dr. Sabi movement. And I was, uh, I wouldn't say afraid of how the community is going to react, but a lot of my followers was Dr. Sabi followers. And he spoke uh, ill of comfrey, not knocking him. Moment of silence to the late great master teacher. But uh, I was such a follower back then. I was so hungry and thirsty for knowledge. I really wasn't involved in maturing my own knowledge and in my own clinical trials yet that I just kept it out of my toothpaste. But I'm really thinking about bringing out a part two of my toothpaste, my tooth powder and adding comfrey and then just having one without comfrey for the Sabian followers and having one with comfrey for the people that, you know, that expand their knowledge and really know how good comfrey is for the body. Comfrey is amazing. It's good for bones. It got calcium triphosphate in it. I mean, comfrey is good for the wounds. I mean, comfrey is actually a, a good herb, y'all, all around a uh, good herb that is actually alkaline for me. And that, these are facts, y'all. These are just facts and clinical trials and testing these things out ourselves. So I was talking to my mama and talking to my big sister because she's the head herbalist here at the clinic and at the warehouse. And we was thinking about coming out with a second version of Yaki uh, Awaken. Matter of fact, hand me the new product. Y'all got to see the new product. No, uh, we about the Dr. Yaki Awaken tooth and gun restoration. And we're going to have two versions, one with comfrey. And one without comfrey because the comfrey is amazing. That's how I heal my mouth. So these are the new products, y'all. Check it out. Check out the new products. These are our teas now. You see my face on them. I had I, I got another person out here pretending to be. I guess he wanted to be me so bad. You know, every video he makes is about me now, and his product looked just like my old product. So we went out and spent a hundred thousand dollars on a whole new product line that is going to be coming out very soon. It says Doctor Yaki. You know, I'm a doctor now, so I put doctor on everything. Dr. Yaki's Rafa Elohim Circulatory High Tea. It looks like this. Got my face on it. Certified organic by Yaki. Of course, I got my face on my own product now. And the clinic number is on the products. The clinic number is on all the product now, y'all. Clinic number is on all the products. And uh, for the instructions, all you have to do is just scan the barcode and it'll take you right to the instructions now. I mean, we really been doing a lot of stuff, y'all. These are some of the tinctures. Notice Dr. Yakai Rafa Elohim's tinctures. And everything is on here. You scan it now and it makes sense. Everything works with each other. If y'all look at the website, the website is slowly being updated. So, you know, we just getting ready for the people again, man. We really we getting ready for the people again. You see that? We getting I just ordered my tooth and gun restoration. I would like to add it to it. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, that comfrey take it to a whole nother level. You know, I was living such a bad lifestyle, smoking so many cigarettes, eating so many bad foods. And then y'all know my past life and what I used to do. So my teeth was very, very bad. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I didn't go to the dentist. I did have to have a couple of them pulled. But uh, for the remainder of my teeth, I literally healed my teeth, y'all. I healed my teeth. And comfrey was one of the herbs that I used to heal my mouth, y'all. Like I healed all of my cavities. I brushed my cavities, literally brushed my cavities out. And on the inside of my tooth where I had uh, uh, root canals, the actual amygdala fell out. And the actual enamel grew back, y'all. I don't even have those holes in my teeth no more. All because of that, that tooth and gun restoration powder. You know, it's just that you get so indoctrinated sometimes that you are slow to say certain things. But now I'm just so comfortable in my energy. It is what it is. I can speak my truth and speak my mind without, you know, per, without intentionally trying to offend others. And that's all it is. Just coming from a place of pure intentions. I, what a lot of people told me, it, it was wrong from my 
clinicals and from what I experimented and studied on it. And that's all. Not saying nobody else is wrong. I just got different results. So from the results that I got, I'm going to teach those results. I'm not teaching nobody else results no more. I'd rather just teach my own and my own experience. And I suggest y'all do the same. You know, everything I say, try it, teach it, teach it and test it out. And if it's wrong, hit me up. Hey, Yaki, I think we need to relook at this thing. I don't mind apologizing for being wrong, but you know, I mean, it's real. It's like, it's, it's very rare that I am wrong, but if I am, y'all know, I will apologize before the world. Hey, I'm off. That was wrong. It's time to go deeper in studies. That's what this is about. This is a healing journey and I will never know it all. That's the whole purpose of living. To live is to collect information and to perfect the information for you can give it back to the genealogies that come behind you. And then they get that same information, they critique it and they perfect it, then they give it to their children's children. That's the whole point of you being a living organism is to collect data, perfect the data and give it to those who come behind you. That's what it is. All right, let me answer some of these calls real quick. Who we get? Yeah, these T's gonna be powerful. Let me see them again, I'll be. I'm trying to pull somebody up and ain't pulled up yet. I'm gonna have to go to somebody. There they go. Peace, peace. I Let's did see, not got think it. I was gonna get in here. <laughs> Peace, peace, goddess. Hey, you like my you like my teas? I do. I actually just made an order. I've been trying to get a level three packet, uh -huh. but money funny. So I just bought some uh, hey, um, have, bitter tea. In four months, we're gonna have insurance too. So okay. So you'll be able to come, and if you got insurance, you ain't even got to pay for the full package. You'll be able to use your insurance to to get a lot of our stuff. So. We oh wow! I've seen a couple of people asking if you were going to start accepting insurance, yes, but congratulations. The first ones we'll be doing is Medicare and what? Medicare and Medicaid. Medicare and Medicaid is the first ones. And then we're going to be doing the other stuff. So, like, this is a real clinic. This is a real practitioner's office where you can come in and, you know what I'm saying, book a consultation with us and come to us and see us and get your herbs while you're here. You ain't even got to wait on them no more. You come here and pick them up. Okay. Well, congratulations mm -hmm. on becoming a doctor. Um, I have a couple questions. I watched almost every single video I could find about you. I don't know what brought me to mm -hmm. you. 